Summer is out. For many students, that means fun in the sun and a big break. But take a look at this number right here. This is 83% of educators who say they worry enough about their students not having enough to eat during the summer. That is almost all educators. Folks, childhood hunger is a very serious issue, and many families uh, are going through this, so we want to tackle this topic today on Focus at Four. Even if your kid has a full belly every single day, there's a chance that one of their classmates may not. So we have with us today Shannon, Jennifer, and Kenzie with the Brazos County Food Bank who are here to talk about this important topic um, because for some families, feeding their kids over the course of summer, that can be a challenge. Absolutely. So during the school year, we partner with schools to get backpacks out over the weekend when kids don't have access to free and reduced meals at their school. In the summer, they don't have access at all to free and reduced meals um, through regular school. So we partner with um, lots of youth programs throughout the Brazos Valley um, to get backpacks out for the weekend. And then during the week, they can access um, summer meals at um, various points in the community. This is um, something that a lot of families will worry about, but sometimes they stay quiet about. Uh, they don't want to talk about uh, this struggle over the summer. We want to show you a, a website, because if you're at home or if you know somebody who needs some assistance with finding one of these locations here in our area that offer free meals for 18 and under, this is real easy. And we'll put this website up. It's the USDA Summer Food Rocks website. You go to it, click on Find Sites, put in your city, and then when you hit Locate, it will pop up and populate all of the sites in our area and again it's just that one button right there and you can put in college station and hit locate and then you'll see multiple locations and this is a good example of all of the areas where again 18 and under you can go and have your free lunches and um, get the bellies full absolutely yeah all right we've got our aprons on today and jennifer and kenzie this is where you're coming in to help yes. because we didn't want to just talk about this we wanted to give you some examples of nutritious but inexpensive snacks and meals so let's go down the line jennifer what do we have here so summer is an exciting time but um it's a time where your parents you have to just provide all of your meals for your children um, so we have some different options of healthy snacks um, that will get your kids involved in the process and get them excited about wanting to eat healthy. You've already got me excited about yes. this. It's okay. peanut butter and mm -hmm. raisins. Where do you go wrong? I mean, I don't think I, you I, can. That's what I'm <laughs> so this is, again, uh, just an idea. Tell us what do you have. So this is ants on a log. We have a piece of celery that's filled with peanut butter and you top little raisins on top. It's something that your kids could do themselves. It makes it fun, makes them more interested in eating something like this. And then we have little um, apple and peanut butter sandwiches right here. You just take the apple slices, put some peanut butter in there, and it's a little more enjoyable than maybe dipping it or you know eating it without peanut butter. So it's a way to have them together, making it fun, getting the kids involved. So fruits and vegetables, obviously, mm -hmm. you want to incorporate in, yes. in your child's diet because um, being uh, it, it, it is a struggle. Let's just, let's just be honest. It's a struggle to eat healthy on a on a low income budget mm -hmm. so um, tell us what else you have here for so some ideas off of that it's very important to buy produce when it's in season mm -hmm. it tastes the best at that time and is also more um, of the inexpensive side but so here we have just a different variety of vegetables you have some cucumbers bell peppers celery and carrots and here it looks like the classic uh, ranch dressing that you would eat with your vegetables but um we've actually made it out of non-fat plain Greek yogurt and we mix in a little ranch seasoning packet in there. It's a way to um, put, I guess, so this is that's a lower... A, and, and that's a good, that's a trick because I thought that was ranch. Yes, it's a very... So it's um, Greek yogurt. Yeah, Greek yogurt provides a lot of protein. It has 15 grams of protein for a serving and then this also is a low-fat way to provide calcium for your kids for... Um, to make them strong I'm sensing a healthy. theme here. Trick the kids. you got ants yes. on the log. <laughs> yes. You've got uh, yogurt instead of ranch. Mm -hmm. Now, these are good snacks. Let's talk about dinner, the, the, the big course here. Mm -hmm. What do you have in this pot? So, it's kind of a Tex-Mex skillet. So, I started with ground turkey because ground turkey is a healthier and less expensive version of ground beef. And uh, so, I just browned some ground turkey in there. And then I put a little taco seasoning and I got the low sodium taco seasoning since we're trying to watch the amount good. of salt in our diet. Um, and then I tossed in some chopped onions and bell peppers, black beans, corns, tomato, 
and I just put it in there. And brown rice is an excellent um, way to get whole grains, and it's very easy to do. And you can just put some brown rice in there in your bowl, and then you can top it with some of this and just add some cheese or salsa, and it's a great, a great meal. It's simple, it's easy, it, it's not expensive. How much do you think the, the meal right there in the pot, how much are you spending right there? It is about $7.50 for total, and it probably serves a family of six. $7.50 mm -hmm. for a, a, okay, so see, there you go. It's like a number one at a local fast food restaurant. Yes. Um, these are some really good ideas. Again, the idea is to trick the kids and to think they're eating something fun, maybe a little unhealthy, but it really does keep them fueled up. One other statistic I wanted to bring up, um, three out of the four educators that they talked to in this study said that uh, they see throughout the year their kids coming to school hungry and that really does a, a impact the way they think. Mm -hmm. um, wrap this up by telling us a little bit about the food bank. How can our viewers help you? Um, you can come out and volunteer. You can uh, send donations of food or money either one helps um, our school programs that we work with our um, schools to feed children throughout the year are school pantry and backpack um, and uh, yeah just get out and help yeah get okay. out and help yeah guys these are some great ideas thank you so much for coming